Yo, 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 what's going on? Spooky here with the car, guys, and today I'm bringing you one of my deck profiles. Um, as you guys know from forever, um, since I want to say it might have been September last year, November, October, whenever it was, I've loved Shadows. And today I'm bringing you a new build. Um, these cards are, this card is ridiculous in the deck. Um, as you see in the title, I'm calling it Princess Dolls. And the deck is outright stupid to say the least. Um, once you start getting like combos off and everything like that, the deck is pretty much unbeatable and the pa the problem with the deck in the past is you had to play Triple Falco as Jeff said and as a lot of other people said um, to storm the board because Necros couldn't couldn't handle you know field pressure all the time and this deck does that very well. And I want to show you my build because I thought my build was very good. Um, we t I've been testing it for roughly about three weeks now. Um, I was testing the Sybil stuff, um, and it was pretty crazy. And then I didn't even know they were renamed to Prediction Princess. And then somebody said well, they came out in Dragon's Legends. I didn't know that. And I got excited, to say the least. So um, I'm going to show you my list here. I'm, I've been testing it for roughly about three weeks. It has a good matchup versus everything uh, for the most part. Um, this effect, I'll go over this effect in a minute because this gives you the edge on BA a lot of the time too. But uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and get into it now. Um, so this is my build of Princess Dolls. Um, this card, Prediction Princess Territory, um, if you guys don't know what it is, it is level 9, I want to say. Yeah, level 9, Light Monster, 2700 attack, 1200 defense. Uh, states, during your end phase, you can special summon one from your hand, Foot Monster from your hand or your graveyard, and a face down defense boost on your deck. And then, once per turn, during either player's turn, you activate one of the effects. You can either flip a face down monster face up, or flip a face up monster face down. And they cut, go into attack or go into defense, whatever. So, it's pretty cool. And then you can just abuse your Shadal on your turn and then on their turn like say you're playing BA it's just um, you just destroy them like if they I was playing a BA the other day they traveled and I ended up just winning because I just I booked as one monster with the effect and he just lost but let me go ahead and get get into the deck now um, it's pretty awesome if I don't if you don't say so myself you know um, leave the comment down below tell me what you guys think of the list tell me what you guys think about this mat congrats to the Mario for top 64 uh, Nats so um, yeah not a problem here we go with the list um, we got three Terra Trey um, one of my favorite new cards in the whole thing um, obviously you're adding a new little twist to the deck uh, of Shadows, dolls which is the ritual dolls or princess dolls and Believe it or not, this is the only one I play because you just gain all the effects from all the Shadals that you, you know, use for her. And then after you, you know, use for this one, you can bring it back and you just start reusing all your effects. So it's pretty cool. And another thing, I do play Call in the deck. If you successfully summon one, you can call this back and then start your plays again. Because um, it doesn't have a clause that can only be used as a ritual. Um, so if you summon it successfully, you can you know, bring it back afterwards if you want like a soul charge or call the haunted or what have you. Um, then um, I play only three ways to search it pretty much and that's um, Manju of the 10,000 hands. Um, I, I, I tested the Senjus in the deck but I didn't want to um, play too many normal summons. I, I do play three Mathematician but um, I, think, I think Manju was enough for the sole fact that I'm playing three of the um, ritual spells too and it it just seems like a consistency issue with you summoning and then just passing and then summoning and just passing like i want to have a have a play to get my card and then have a play with the triple mathematician here to you know get my shadal engine going as well so i wanted to commit one half of the normal summoning to the actual ritual engine and then one other half to the actual shadal engine and it the ratios are perfect in my opinion. Um, this gets your Shadal engine going, obviously this gets your Ritual engine going. So I mean there's, there shouldn't be any complaints. And this is light, which is why um, I think the deck you know, flows very well in the Konami format right now. Um, so three Mathematician to get all your plays off. If you open up Foolish in this, it's pretty much, you, you're so far ahead in the game already, it's unreal. Um, let's get into the Shadals now. I think I play nine, um, I think, uh, play two Falco. I've seen a lot of builds play one. But a lot of the times, I mean, I tried one. One was good. Don't get me wrong. One was great. But I've came a lot of times in the grind game, or getting out of the early game is really tough, too. And, you know, opening up a mathematician play and then them, get, them getting over the Falco, you can actually grind with another Falco before you go into your territory play. And um, 
it's pretty devastating once you in your field. Like if you use this with a ritual, it comes in face down defense position, and then on their turn you can do a whole bunch of stuff. So it's pretty cool. Um, then we play two beasts. Um, two beasts I think is necessary. You want to get your draws off. Um, I'm playing two of everything else besides hedgehog, by the way. So two squamata. Um, you can just reuse this uh, two two dragon. Um, I opted to play double dragon this in this deck as well um, because of the sole fact that you can um, just bring it back and re loop falcos and then start bouncing their stuff back to the hand. So um, anti spell fragrance is actually pretty cool in the side deck, but I'm not. You didn't hear that from me. Um, being able to do this um, on your opponent's turn, like in phase or something like that, and then you'll flip it with a tar tray. Pretty insane, um, and that and Falco, and then I'll play the one Hedgehog. One Hedgehog is because I'm not really um, wanting to. I mean, you want to see your fusions, but a lot of the times, you know, the fusions just come to your hand. You really don't, you know, feel like searching them, and the deck draws and the deck thins really well. So I mean, it's not like you're not gonna have one in your hand. Like sometimes I don't, but at the same time, you, this deck doesn't rely solely on the fusions. Um, then I'll play uh, two Max C. There's a thing with the deck that you want to have cards in your hand to actually. Do um, you want to dig deeper in your deck? so you can actually get to your ritual spells. Um, you want to dig into getting your monsters to activate your ritual spell and stuff like that. And then you can use it for the fusions as well. So two maxi and then the one glow up bulb. Um, Trish is back. So you got to play the bulb. I think now I'll play two tuners, a level one, a level two. So you have different ways of actually going into Trish. And then you can, um, a cool play that I'll, sh I'll just um, explain now. You can... If you open up one of the two pieces in your hand, like a, either a tar tray or the, uh, the spell, you can just go into a, uh, you can just summon this and go into a herald and then like you know set something, and then from there you can just you know negate some negate anything and then add the other one that you don't have to your hand. So you have the play you know the ne very next turn, which is I think very powerful. Um, the monster count I don't know. Let me count: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one monsters. Um, notice I don't play Valor. I don't play BLS. Um, I feel like those cards can cause a lot of inconsistencies. Um, and as of right now, I'm really not that scared of Necros, to say the least. Um, but that's just me. Um, play Triple El Shadal. Um, obviously, it's, it's the best spell card in the deck. Um, it's, it dodges so much stuff. Um, there's really not much you can say about this. You can make so many things do... To, oh my god, it's ridiculous. Um, two should all fusion. I side the third just for BA, but I think two's plenty. I don't want to necessarily overload my hands with these. That's why I'm playing five. Because um, you play more spells to get other cards out. Um, a play triple prediction ritual. If you guys don't know what this is, it's the ritual card that comes out that brings out Terra Trey. Um, another th cool part about it is the effect. The other effect of it is after you bring it out, the the main phase after you use it, the very next turn, you can banish it to search another one to your hand. So that's one reason why I opted only to play three Manju in the deck is because say you know I set this or um, I have two of these in my hand and I resolve a beast, I can discard it. Um, with the beast effect, and then you know my very next main phase, I can remove it to add one, and then I have a follow-up play there with the territory. So I think you know three has been working fine so far. Uh, then I play triple upstart goblin. Um, you want to see your combo pieces. You want to get honest. You want to get to monsters, and you want to get to your spell. Um, so digging deeper, or deeper in your deck, just it works. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't cut this card because I don't care about life once. I care about just putting advantage on you. So. Uh, then for the one ofs, we play one Foolish Burial, Horner Geki, and one Soul Charge. This card's stupid. You can go into so many different plays with this card. Uh, Foolish gets you out of the early game, and then Regeki's obviously for anything that kind of poses a threat to you at a certain point in the game. Uh, that's it for spells. I believe that might be like 15 spells, I think. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 spells, excuse me. Uh, then we play 5 traps. I uh, play Double Call the Haunted. I tried 3. 3 was good, don't get me wrong, but there's a lot of times where I saw it and it was just dead. So, um, Double Call, you know, seems to be working fine for the most part. Um, then we play Double Breakthrough Skill. Um, I like Breakthrough Skill over anything else, really, right now, especially in Shadals, because we're not playing Valor, so I think Breakthrough works it comes in clutch to say the least and it stops it really stops anything if you have a play you can get over like a a delta rose or a 
or a triv or something, and this is in your grave, you can just stop their entire play, their follow up play with their special summoning from the graveyard or special summoning on your turn. Uh, and then I'll play the one core. Um, a lot of people are probably going to ask, why don't you play more than one core? It's a level 9. I understand that. Don't get me wrong. But if I fuse, then I can, you know, reuse it, um, which is a cool thing about it. Um, being able to summon, like, special summon this out, go into your princess play with this, and then get back the fusion, activate the fusion. And then when that fusion dies, you just get this back, and you might have another follow-up play with the princess. It's just, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool little stuff that you can do with the deck. Um, so that's it for the main deck. It's 40 cards um, for the extra deck now to give you guys like a, like a, kind of like a skeleton of it. Um, it's it's done, but it's subject to change. Like, I'm testing a couple things in here. Um, card guys token. Um, triple construct. Um, I was playing two at one point. If I end up playing this at the ARG um, Philly, obviously I'm going to have to play two and one El Shadal Fusion. Hopefully they bring El Shadal Fusion to two so it's at least semi playable. I'll play this deck if that was the case. Um, so, triple construct, double Winda. I like double Winda, uh, it's cute. Um, one Sheck and one Anoitilis. Um, with Call the Hana being around, I, I think one's plenty for this. Um, it's pretty cool. You can Trish, and then if they try to Valor the Trish, you can like El Shadali the Trish into this, like if they're playing Necros, or they do something to try to negate the Trish. You just, you're just like, and they lose. So, yeah, that's it for the um, fusions. Um, then we play one Herald of Arclight, the nut card. One Armades. This is probably one of the things that I might take out. Uh, one Black Rose, uh, one Trish. He's back from the dead. Um, one Leo, one Star Eater. These are this is the towers out and whatnot. Um, it's I don't know. I'm I'm iffy on this card as well. Who knows? Um, then we'll play one Exiton and one Castell for the rank fours. You could definitely play more rank fours in the deck because of all the um, all of the spamage you do with the deck. But that's pretty much it for me. Tell me what you guys think about the list. Uh, I know I'm going to be playing it at Locals for a while. I've been testing it and doing it. It's been doing very well. Um, tell me what you guys think. If you would make any different changes to the list, definitely tell me down in the comments below. I'd greatly appreciate everything. Um, if you guys wouldn't mind checking out our Facebook group, our Facebook page, add me on Facebook if anything else. Um, go like, like us on Instagram, follow us on Instagram and stuff like that. If you have any more questions or concerns, definitely leave them out in the comments below. Um, tell me what other decks you guys like to see from all the other teammates on the card, guys. That I know they would greatly appreciate it. I got more videos from um, Corey, from uh, Noah, Blair, and Zane, and Desmond. So if you guys wouldn't mind, you know, drop a, th drop a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, um, Refresh it, try it again, leave a, I guarantee you'll like it the second time, leave a like. And that's pretty much it for me guys, I'm Spoofy with the car guys, and we'll see you later. Peace.